don't teach our people the law. And that's why you see a lawless city out here on the block. A lot of prostitution going on, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of homosexuality. All of that stuff you see in our communities out here. The Latino side of the Bronx, the black side of the Bronx. They have not taught our, our people the commandments of God. And that's why we are lawless people. Did you had a close we on fire? Yeah, we back to see this thing on fire. Either you gon' ride it, you gon' ride it, you gon' ride it. Feel it fast. Nationality, if you don't mind, what would you tell me? You black. 
Now, when I ask you your nationality, I'm asking you, where can you trace your history back to your, your ethnicity? You don't know. Can I show you that in the Bible? Real quick, I said one and three. Just two minutes, brother. Just two minutes. Come listen to the word of God, brother. You know, this is the black man's book right here. This is your book. And guess what? Black is not a nationality. I just want to make that point. Black is a color. Okay. Well, listen, check the fly out, brother. I want to read this scripture to you because what you said, the brother said he don't know his true nationality. And there's many of our people out here in the Bronx today. A, many, a lot of our brothers and sisters, you Hispanics and blacks out here, don't know your true nationality. Right. We're going to read that out the Holy Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. You heard that black man with the blue sweats on. Right here looking at the flyer. With the blue sweats. You're the only brother with the Nike blue sweats on. With the Tim's. How you doing, Chief? Question for you, sir. Do you believe in the Bible? Can I ask you a question? Two seconds. What's, do you know your nationality? Well, if I was to ask you your nationality, that's two seconds, black man. We need to talk to our elders. We ain't gotta, well, listen, you get a flyer? We just want our brothers to check out the information to, to repent. That's what the Holy Bible says. It's time for our people to awake unto righteousness. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the knowledge of God that our Christian pastors ain't been teaching us? We're going to find out according to the Holy Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the what? The law at his mouth. The Bible says, you hear that, black man? You believe in God, bro? Do you know your nationality? Come talk to us, brother. We are here reading out the Holy Bible. Yes. The same book that's been in your Christian church for years. Right. But yet they have not taught you your true identity. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says they're supposed to teach knowledge. What's the knowledge of the God of the Holy Bible? Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. The what? The law at his mouth. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet. But you hear. <laughs> what I'm telling you is just as he's physically standing here. Knowing what's coming when getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. You mean, God, I just bought in crazy faith. I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back and ride in the hoop day again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... <laughs> but they don't teach our people the law. And that's why you see a lawless city out here on the blocks. A lot of prostitution going on. Prostitutes getting pinched by police, prosecuted for plying their trade. But advocates are fighting to end America's prohibition on prostitution. There's no disagreement that I'm aware of that people in prostitution, primarily women, 
uh, should never be criminally prosecuted. Now, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, Vice President Kamala Harris, and Senator Elizabeth Warren are speaking in support of ending penalties for prostitution. For me, it's about just making sure we have the right tools to prevent trafficking, but I generally am of the view that people have dominion over their own bodies. A lot of drug dealing, a lot of homosexuality, all of that stuff you see in our communities out here. The Latino side of the Bronx, the black side of the Bronx, they have not taught our, our people the commandments of God. And that's why we are lawless people. Go ahead, what you got, bro? It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 26. Her priest has violated my law. What? Her priest has violated my law. And that's a lot of your Christian pastors today in 2024. Your pastors have violated God's law. Here it is. It's the Lord's Sabbath day. The Lord said no buying and no selling. But check, this the busiest day out here on our streets in Bronx, New York. Why? Because your priests, your Christian pastors, your Islamic mosques, your Catholic priests have violated God's laws. Right. Read that again. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy sister. Sister, come, 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 come. Do anybody believe in God? Are we teaching out the Holy Bible? Why don't nobody want to come listen to the word of God? Read that part again. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. And I profane my holy thing. Ma'am, ma'am, how you doing today, ma'am? Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in God, sister? Can I ask you a question? Two minutes? Anybody got two minutes? Black man. Black man with the gray hoodie. Anybody got two minutes? Come listen to the word of God. Hold on, go back to Ezekiel real quick. Her priest have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. Neither have they done what? Put showed a difference between the unclean and the clean. <laughs>